Last time, got a house, met a neighbor, called her mom, unlocked a door, unboarded a window, regretted it terribly. He stayed up the rest of the night, listening intently next to the door. The noises stopped eventually, but you only entertained the idea of going outside well after sunrise. Is it well after sunrise? Oh, God! The floor is covered in dirty footprints! Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person, an animal, maybe. Ew, ew, ew. God, look at- Oh, God, he just touched the door. Just look at it. it. Felt it all the way up there. Oh, my God. Oh, look! Oh, perfect! Yeah, it came out of the window! Awesome! Oh, I'm so happy that it did! It looks like something got her through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? Oh, oh yeah, look, oh god, it's trying to play dumb. Oh god, did something happen? Did something come through the window? It didn't come through here. See, the window's closed. There's a strange black substance stuck to the lock. It looks like some kind of black spider web. Ew. Close the fucking window. You close the window again, wiping the substance away. Oh god, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be that. It's fine this time. I should probably clean this up too. What if... You lock the door with the metal key when you're not in here. The door. Right? It wasn't able to get through your door. Ew, ew, ew. God, did, uh. No. 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 We are, no. No. Omer san, it's Matsuda. Ah, oh, yes, how can I help you? Something happened yesterday. Y yes. I think an animal got inside the house last night. I didn't see it, but today there were footprints all over the second floor. An animal? Did it do anything? Yeah, it put a bunch of black spider web everywhere and tried to kill me. No, not really. What? What? How did it get in? Through the window on the second floor, although I had it closed when I went to bed. That's odd. That area doesn't have any history with animal invading homes. Maybe it was a one-time incident. Oh, he's playing dumb. But just to be safe, be sure to lock everything up tonight, all right? Yeah, good idea. I'll just do that. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. I'll probably fix it. Just ignore the problem. Perfect. Great idea. I love it. Four-digit passcode, huh? I have no idea what it is, though. Uh-huh. Oh. The new message. Mathematics Volume 4. Point, spiral, helix, axis. Why didn't you just tell me what the code was? What is this? Maybe he doesn't remember. Is that what Sen meant? You pick up the book. It's marked on a specific page. Is a chapter about spirals? A curve on a... P I'm not reading all this. Point, point. Are you... What? Re Okay, did I learn what the passcode was? Ah, oh, fuck me. It, I, okay. I mean, I'm usually like really good at puzzles, but I, I, I couldn't, there, there's, I don't think it has anything to do with the book, okay? So, it, it could be just the letters, like five, six, five, four. So it wasn't that. So the next idea is that it has nothing to do with the actual math that was mentioned. I just have to count the number of times it says point, and it says spiral, it says helix, and it says axis. Oh my god! Wow, that was a pain in the butt. You know, I like puzzles. But that wasn't a thinking puzzle. That was that was kind of a monotonous one. But whatever, it's fine. You've opened the safe. There isn't much exciting except for you scattered papers. You pick up a few that's been clipped together. They're newspaper clippings. It's a small article, the kind that sits nowhere near the front page. It's about a missing child thought to have run away from a house. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at night, only to find him missing from his bedroom, with only the bedroom window left open. 
The parents insisted that there was no reason for their son to run away, but authorities found no forced entry or struggle to signify an abduction. Missing child? This article is from 10 years ago. We pick up the next article on the pile. Missing child, run away from abduction! It's another article about the missing boy. This one goes into detail about the investigation and how there were no signs of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctively bigger than the previous ones. A couple goes missing inside their own home. Wow. You read over the article. It's about the same couple with the missing child, except this time they were the ones who went missing. After not hearing from them for days, a relative went to check on the couple only to find the no one home. When the authorities went to investigate, however, they found the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing open was a window of their missing son's room on the second floor. There's a picture of the house with the article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicion. It's the house you're in right now! You check the date of the article. It was written just a few weeks after the first missing child one. You take a look at the other articles and they all seem to be about the missing couple or the child. The last one, however. There's a small article about Furukawa Housing acquiring this house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a considerably smaller price. That explains why it's so cheap. At the bottom of the newspaper clippings, there's another handwritten note. Previous tenant. Disappeared without paying rent. Thought to be some kind of schemer or con artist. There's another pile of papers on the safe. You put the newspaper clippings back and grab the other pile. Michael left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away. But I couldn't answer at the time. I should have told her to stay away. When I got home, no one was there. But her shoes were by the entrance and her bag was on the table. That window was open, too. I think it took her. I can't tell this to anyone. They'll think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other, and I wished her the best at her new job. I swear, I could never do anything to her. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing. But still, I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back in this house. And now she's gone. It took her over there. I've blocked up the window now. Because it seems locking the room didn't do anything and tomorrow I'm getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me this place. But I doubt he'll listen. What does it mean he took her? You read the notes again. And then one more try, trying to make the sense out of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in any way that doesn't involve wild outlandish theories. Run. Away. No! No. Uh-uh. Can we just leave? Is that... That's something we can do, right? Oh god, it's open! No, 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 no! No! The same substance is stuck in the lock! No, no, for not over. Close, 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 close. No, 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 no. Oh, God! What the hell? What is this? I need to run. Oh, God! Ah! Oh. On your haste to leave the house, you ended up tripping on the sidewalk. You fell down to the ground, hitting your head against the pavement. You feel your consciousness fading away. Natsuan. Natsuda-san. 
Matsuda-san. Matsuda-san. Matsuda-san, are you alright? What? What are you doing out here? You're bleeding. Hey. Don't rush yourself. No, are you alright? What happened? I... I don't know. Come now, you can... Oh, we can talk inside. Let's get that wound taken care of. There, that should do it. Thank you. Nanda-san. Matsuda-san, what happened? Why were you lying on the street like that? I... tripped. You tripped? Yeah, I was running and then I tripped. Why were you running? There was something inside the house. Something? You feel your... Oh, your head feels fuzzy. You have an idea of what happened. That made you run out of the house, but you're probably remembering it wrong. That blow to your head must have gotten things mixed up. There's no way... You saw what you think you saw. I think it was an animal, I'm not sure. My head doesn't feel quite clear. Yeah, that looked like it was a nasty blow. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? No, no, I'm fine, really. It wasn't that bad. I still think you should go. Things like this shouldn't be played with. I'll just go tomorrow. And if I feel anything else, I'll be fine, Anda-san. If you say so. Still, I insist you stay here for the night. Head wounds are no trivial matter. It's good to have someone watching over you. Honda-san, I don't want to impose. I insist I can't in all con good conscience send you home alone like this. You want to argue that it's necessary that you feel fine, but at this point you're too tired to argue. Thank you, Honda. Wow, you are the best neighbor ever. I should have bought you a better nail puller. Except, maybe they are the mother of the crazy child. Matsuda-san, are you going already? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to get it checked out? Or maybe you can stay a while longer. No, I should go. Truth be told, you don't really feel like going back home. But you don't want to overstay your welcome here either. Wow, God. Ah, uh, politeness. You don't want to trouble Honda Stone any further. Thanks for everything. Saving. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just gonna... No, 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 no! You stop in front of the door. Your mind rushes back to the events of yesterday. Or as much as you remember, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that thing. Your head is just confused because of that blow it took. Right. So why did you run out of the house yesterday? God. Oh my! <sighs> wow. The house is covered in dirty footprints. They're all over the place. Get out. Get out! There's a sticky dark substance going all the way from the door handle to the table to the next door. Get out. You try pulling it off, but it seems really stuck to the wood. It's sturdy enough that it doesn't rip when you try to tear it in half. Meanwhile, there's something else you need to check. Oh, no, it ruined my phone. Should you call her and tell her what happened? No, I'll just worry. You'll tell your dad. With his dark condition, you can probably sort this out with your own. Oh, my God. Your purse looks like... Oh, what a little snake went through my purse. Take a look inside. Oh, you can't be sure of it, but there seems to be a couple things missing. Oh. Probably my wallet. Oh, yeah, I'll just touch all my things. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, God. Your pillow is on the floor, dirty and ripped. What a little... No, the pillow's over here. And look, it had a little tea party over here. 
close the fucking door. Close it. Close it! Yesterday, it couldn't possibly be true, is it? That creature. No, it is true! Rational part of your brain wants to deny it and talk it up to the devotee of your head. However, the other part of your brain, the one that can't help entertaining the idea of superstition, the supernatural and the unknown, says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat. Close window. You decide to entertain that part of your brain. So far, you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an objection of certain of what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere, though. What should you do right now is go over the facts and make sure to focus on the ones that are most important. I mean, I feel like both of these are relatively true. I have only seen it be here during the night, but I have also only seen it come through the window. However, just because it only comes through the window, why would it only, it, it comes through their window and it comes through that window, but it clearly was at the door. So I feel like it only comes at night. So far, that thing has only manifested itself at night. During the day, the house's window remains firmly closed. Although you also need to take into account the possibility that that thing, or that the timing, might have been a coincidence, so you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. Well, I mean, I guess. Still, it's better than nothing. It didn't go after you before. The thing came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It's only had plenty of chances to come at you before, so why didn't it? Was it toying with you? Was it sniffing out the food? What does it want with you? Aside from taking you somewhere, probably inside the other house if Sen is to be believed. Would it come back again today? Would it try to take you again today? Because if it does, I need to leave. It didn't chase you out of the house. For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You were tripped and you were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back inside. Did it stop because it wanted to? Or was it because it couldn't go outside? Was it just another way of messing with you like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house actually help? It only comes through the window. Although you can't fathom why. It seems the only... Oh, it only comes through the specific window. Daisuke Sen seems to have thought so, as this was the only window boarded up and the room locked. Locking the window itself didn't do any good, though. It managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. Maybe the dark substance you found on the lock had something to do with it. it turns out you don't know much, do you? Let's leave. The feeling of threat, though, feels very much real. No matter how many ways you try to spin it, your gut tells you that staying in this house would be a very bad idea. So let's leave. You feel defeated. What was supposed to be a lucky break turned out to be a nightmare. Although despite feeling reluctant to leave the house over something so unsubstantial, so out there, you have this feeling that it's better to leave now before something bad actually happens. You should pack the bare minimum at least before nightfall. Though you do feel about uneasy walking around the house so empty-handed. Considering what might be coming. Okay. We have like a nail puller. Nail? Nail puller? Nail puller! Where's my fucking nail puller? Close window. Close it! Close it! Oh god, why did I look? Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Where's my nail puller? Okay, where's my nail puller? Yes! Well, this is it. You should be able to quick as possible pack in only the absolute minimum. And then, once you get out of the house, you figure out where to go. Awesome, perfect. Some clothes, documents, blah, 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 blah. This is probably enough enough, though. You've already spent enough time packing as it is. It's getting dark already. Time to go. Okay. I'm ready. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, God! Oh. This, this wasn't here before. You try clawing at the dark substance, but it refuses to give away. But if this is here, then that means... 
Oh my god. It's already here! You're standing right between that creature and the way out. However, with the door being blocked by that dark substance, it's more like you're cornered at a dead end. The creature stands in front of you, fingers stretched out and mouth stuck between a grin and snarl, showing rows of pointy teeth. It doesn't seem to be in a hurry to do anything, but it's steadily coming closer and closer to you. You don't know what it wants, but the malicious intent is unmistakable in its eyes. What should I do? You don't have any way of getting out through the here. So your only hope is running away. That thing is blocking your way, however. Your eyes quickly drift to the table next to you where you kept the nail puller you bought for Andrasan. Weapon. You managed to knock the thing to the side, making way for you to escape. You don't know where to go, but you know you have to create some distance between you and it. I'm going! Shit. Shit! Shit! You should stay away from the window. Ah, shit. There we go. Ha! Figured. This isn't gonna work, is it? An old memory pops into your head. It's one of your dad and his peculiar way of getting rid of bugs and other insects back home. Because you lived at the countryside, some large insects often found their way into your home, so your dad, with his unconditional hatred of all sorts of creepy crawlies, also found a very unconventional way of dealing with them. I wonder if this can... I could use this deodorant spray like he did. He would essentially make a homemade flamethrower with an aerosol spray and a lighter, and somehow, you would always manage to keep from burning the house down. He even taught you how to make one, before your mother completely forbade him from using it inside the house, and especially in front of you. Well, you're obviously not dealing with a bug here, but it's not like you have any weapons inside the house, aside from maybe a regular knife. Should you take the deodorant spray? Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready. You shut the door behind you and lock it quickly. Even with the locked door between you and the creature, you don't feel safe at all. Looking back, that thing did manage to unlock the window from the outside. What if it can unlock doors too? Do something. You're unsure if it's going to come through the door at any minute now. You need to do something. Damn it. The phone is dead. Wait. You suddenly remember you have the lighter and deodorant spray. Maybe you can.
press A to light the fire. Okay. It took a while, but the creature eventually succumbed to the flames. You stood there shocked, watching as it started thrashing around violently and smashing into furniture. Once you realized what was happening, you tried backing away, but your feet got caught in something and you fell down. You tried backing away, but... Despite being on fire, the creature held on to your ankle tightly, refusing to let go. Eventually, it wasn't the only thing that was on fire. Spray fire onto the substance stuck to the door. Surprisingly and thankfully, it was quick to combust. Once it's out of the way, you push the door open and stumble outside. The creature doesn't follow you outside. You lay on the sidewalk, unmovingly staring at the house that's slowly going up in flames. The neighbors eventually start stepping outside to see what's going on. Honda-san comes rushing over to your side in worry. You vaguely note that someone must have called the fire department after they start showing up to put out the flames. It's no surprise. When they take you in for questioning, considering how you were essentially holding a makeshift flamethrower on your hands. You tell them about the thing that got inside your house. How you thought it was an animal at first, but in reality you have no idea what it was. They ask you about the wound on your head. They question how severe it was. Honda-san tells them that she doesn't know as you refuse to go to the hospital. They start questioning your medical history then, and your stress-related episodes come to light. It gets worse when they find out that even when on medical leave from work, you were still doing work-related favors for co-workers. According to them, you might have just thought up the whole thing, which you found ridiculous. Having a breakdown is one thing, but hallucinating a monster coming to get you from the house next door. Actually, you were painfully aware of how absurd that sounded which is why you ended up agreeing to those mandatory therapy sessions to monitor your mental health. As long as it got you away from that house. You couldn't help returning three months later, though. You stand on the sidewalk, gazing up at your former house. The fire did quite the damage to the house, but it seems it was already being renovated. And it wouldn't take long until it was already to be renovated again. You only lived there for a week, so you don't have many memories inside it, and truth be told, 
you've started to doubt the ones you do have. Looking back, it seems so ridiculous to think that you set the house on fire because you thought you were being chased by some kind of nightmarish creature from next door. You almost feel embarrassed by it. Still, you can't help yourself. You peek between the houses, trying to catch a glimpse at the other house's window. The wall blocking off the passage makes it difficult, but you somehow manage. There it is. That house's only window. You won't deny that it's strange, but enough to think a creature would come out of it to do what? Kidnap you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs>